symbols synonymous with persecution and genocide. Displaying Nazi symbols like swastikas and SS insignia is banned in parts of Europe. However, at a car and bike show in Cape Town over the weekend, they were proudly on display. The Heritage Group says theirs is a non-political organization aimed at commemorating soldiers of war. A proud collector of Third Reich memorabilia, spokesperson Anton Hart says the group is not neo-Nazi. The disclaimer is specifically there um, to, to educate the public to say that we are not affiliated at all with any right-wing organization or ra racist organization or Nazi or fascist or, or communist. While several of their members paraded in Nazi and SS uniforms, the group says it's interested in the history of many other military movements. We are actually anti-war, we are not pro-war. We would like to preserve military heritage and uh, we are definitely not pro any conflict or war. The Holocaust Foundation, however, says this is not the correct context or manner to preserve such a divisive heritage. And to put it into the public domain, and have it at a car show or at a, some sort of other festivity, yes, of course, it's a way of taking information to people. But unless you actually are able to give the background to the artifacts that you're showing, and explain what the uniforms were and the context of those uniforms in a particularly difficult and terrible period of history, then it's better not to do it at all. Friedman has invited the Heritage Group to engage with the Holocaust Center to establish a more appropriate means of remembrance. Roderick McLeod, Cape Town. News that moves. ENCA.com.